Hey VZB TV fans, my name is Matt and today we're going to be continuing our little series on OBS and a few other programs, but today we're going to be talking about how to stream in 4K, specifically using our Adamo 4K with OBS. So it's a really simple uh, process actually. Let's go ahead and dive straight into this and uh, we'll, get, uh, we'll get you on your way to uh, streaming in 4K. All right, so to start this all off, obviously we have OBS here uh, running and I've already created my scene and brought my Adamo 4K in. Uh, however, there's two problems, right? So the Adamo 4K at the moment is not set to 4K. It's actually set to uh, output at 1080p. So we're gonna go ahead and go and change that here in the web GUI. I'm gonna go ahead and go uh, 4K at 24 FPS, uh, just because uh, number one, I like 24 FPS, but number two, it's going to use less data. The more frames you push, the more data you're going to be using when you're streaming. So uh, we'll go ahead and go back into OBS. Now, we're going to go ahead and double click on our Adamo 4K. That's going to bring up our settings menu here. So uh, currently it is set to 1920 by 1080 p uh, and we're going to change that to 4K, and we're also going to change it so that the uh, FPS is matching. Uh, so that's pretty much all you gotta do there. Um, now after this, uh, it's not going to change, that's because we, <laughs> we have it to automatically uh, set itself to whatever the canvas resolution is. But we'll go into settings anyways. Um, and in case you didn't know, the canvas is just that preview that you get. It's actually going to be what is um, being displayed. So here we are in the settings and the video. Now, if you click on the down menu here, you don't get 4K. So you actually have to manually input that in. So it's 3840 by 2160p. Uh, just go ahead and hit enter. And we're going to want to change the output to be the same as well because we want to output at 4K as well. So just go ahead and apply, hit OK. Um, and uh, don't forget to change your FPS. I almost forgot to do that, but don't, don't forget to change that. So go ahead and hit apply and we'll hit OK. Now, as you can see, the uh, canvas has changed size and the Adamo is showing as a 1080p window. Don't worry, it is still 4K. We just need to right click here and we can resize it to fit the size of the canvas. So there we go. Now your canvas and your output are at 4K. We can just go ahead and double check this real quick. Uh, we'll double click, boom, there it is. Still at 4K and 24 FPS. Now. We'll go back into the settings, and this is where we actually tackle what settings you need to have for live streaming at 4K. Uh, obviously, there's the video settings, but now we're actually going to be talking about the stream settings and the output settings specifically. Uh, we're going to go ahead and go from simple to advanced. That's going to give you more control. Uh, you can change what encoder you're using uh, depending on what computer you have. So, for example, I only have uh, X264, that means I'm going to be encoding on my CPU. Um, but if you had an NVIDIA GPU, you could use NVNC, which is going to use your GPU. Now, I checked the rescale output thing here. What that does, that basically means that you can record at 4K and basically have a 4K signal that you are going to rescale into a different output for uh, less bandwidth. We're not gonna use that, but it's there if you wanna use it. Um, so when I'm talking about encoder settings, rate control, I'm not going to go over that, just pretty much leave it, but bitrate, that's where this really matters. So this is going to be a little bit of a balancing act. Uh, typically you can go about half of what your upload speed is, that's a good rule of thumb, uh, but I'm just going to set it at 20,000 uh, kbps, that should be about enough, uh, but just so you know, the, the higher that number is going to be, the better quality you're going to get. The lower it is, the less quality. But that also means less strain on your computer and less strain on your network. For audio, uh, what we're doing here is we're just going to go to the audio tab real quick and uh, set the audio bit rate to 128. Uh, you can set it to up to 160 with YouTube, but specifically I'd say 128 is a good middle ground. It's going to be a high enough bit rate and you're not really going to notice too much of a difference. Um, but that pretty much does it for everything here. Like I said, this is a balancing act. Uh, you need to mess around and see what works best with you. Uh, it, it's going to be something you're gonna have to test out and see for yourself. My, my settings may not be the same for your settings and your settings may not work for me as well. So let's go ahead and move on. 
there is a recording tab. So what this is, this lets you go ahead and change the, um, the settings for recording. So if you wanted to record and stream at the same time, you could do that. Uh, so you get to change whatever recording format you want, uh, MP4, MOV, MKV, uh, all the different things. You can change what audio track you want to use. So that's very useful if you want to have, say, a higher bit rate. So I can go over here to the audio side and I can max this all the way out to uh, 320 if I really wanted to. Um, and it's not going to affect the stream. Uh, so I'm going to do that. Go ahead and change it to MP4. Now, encoder, you can choose to use a different encoder rather than the stream encoder, or you can choose to use the same one. Um, I'm not going to go too, too in depth on that, but uh, I think that pretty much covers it for how to set up your OBS in terms of how to get it to stream 4K and also just a little bit of showing you how to set the standards up for recording as well if you wanted to record as you are broadcasting. So we go ahead and hit apply and we can go to the stream tab. Now this is where you're going to pick which uh, what you're streaming to. Uh, as far as I know, uh, I think YouTube is one of the only services out there that actually in, um, supports 4K streaming. You can use a stream key or you can just go ahead and connect your account. I'd recommend just connecting your account. And once you do that, you are ready to go. All right, BZB Gear fans, so that is going to uh, cover that for how to stream in 4K using OBS. Really, really great software. It's so fantastic. There's so much to do, and we have some more content coming down the line on handling OBS and a few other things. But thank you for tuning in. Hope this answered a ton of questions, and we will see you guys next time.